let's make the most amazing, creamy, rich, decadent creme brulee. These are the basics. You can't mess it up if you follow my method. Let's get started. This creme brulee is silky smooth. I'm gonna use the best vanilla bean I can find. It is so soft, it smells heavenly. Split in half, get all that beautiful caviar inside. You are gonna love this smell. If you don't have a vanilla bean, you can definitely use vanilla bean paste about half a tablespoon. In a pan, you're gonna add two cups of heavy whipping cream. I added the vanilla seeds I scraped earlier with the vanilla bean itself, all inside the heavy whipping cream. I added one tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of instant dry milk. The instant dry milk is optional, but it's gonna add so much creaminess and richness. Skip if you don't have it. Let the mixture come to a boil, set aside. In a separate clean bowl, five egg yolks, the rest of the sugar, and the sugar, all in all, I added half a cup of granulated sugar. I mix well with the egg yolks, set aside. You're gonna remove the vanilla bean pod and strain the whole mixture. I strain it into a measuring cup or anything easy to pour. And for all the amounts and all the ingredients, look in the description box below. And I started adding the preparation method as well, so check it out. I start adding the cream a little at a time. I want to temper the mixture, I don't want the eggs to cook, so I added one tablespoon, a second tablespoon, mix very very well, and then I'm gonna add the whole mixture, mix it until combined, put back in the pan, let it cook until it thickens or until it reaches the temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 82 degrees Celsius. It should coat the back of the spoon and now it's ready. I place on top of an ice bath to let it cool quicker and I highly recommend you strain it one more time for a smooth smooth creme brulee. If you're liking my recipes please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos, follow me on social media. The links are gonna be in the description box below. Now for baking, you're gonna place in your favorite ramekins. This amount can make about five creme brulees, good size creme brulees. You're gonna cook inside a hot water bath. This is some hot boiling water I'm gonna fill up until the top of the custard. Bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for exactly 40 minutes. It needs to still be a little jiggly, just like you see here. So keep an eye on it, between 30 and 40 minutes is a good time. You're gonna chill in the fridge until very cold, a couple of hours, overnight, whichever you like. If you want it to be a little quicker, you can place them in the freezer for 30 minutes if you wanna serve right away or the same day but you definitely want it to be so, so cold and you want to add the sugar at the last minute, caramelize it the last minute, just when you're ready to serve. And make sure the top is very dry, add about one teaspoon of sugar, spread it evenly, use your favorite torch to caramelize the sugar. And the creme brulee is basically ready. I like to serve garnished with some raspberries or maybe on the side. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. This recipe is so easy. You can't mess it up. Just follow all my tips. Good luck and bon appetit.